Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Alex from Alex Does DIY. Um, so this, uh, just a quick follow-up video uh, from the last video I did just explaining some drainage issues and the fix for that um, that uh, I was planning on putting in place. So we now have got that issue fixed. So I'll uh, show you the proof. So here uh, is the shower again and the bathroom <coughs> floor. Obviously still needs a bit of a clean. So if I turn, turn the shower on, you'll start to see fairly quickly an amount of water building up here. It's just reaching the drain there now. I'm hoping the video is picking that up. But that's not actually draining away. Now in the last video, um, I showed that I was going to use a float switch and the float switch did work just to a certain extent um, but it didn't work every time and I, I think it was just going to be a matter of fine tuning to get that to work so you see quite evidently there that that water is building up so rather than have a float switch to suck this away automatically I decided to just keep it simple and put in a switch so up here next to the shower head you'll see I've just got a switch up here with a waterproof uh, covering on the switch so we turn that on that turns a pump on underneath and you'll see that that will now start to suck that water away it will I promise you hold your breath takes a second for the pump to prime. There we go. So now that water's been uh, sucked in there quite good. And that pump that's draining that away, the flow rate is exactly the same as the pump that's providing the water. So um, you'll never have a backup of water at this end. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about the water that's sitting in the corner here. That's really because of the angle of the bus. So um, I, I think a better way to probably do this, this is happening because I've used just a standard shower pan that you get from the hardware store um, so there's not a lot of fall to the sinkhole there um, if I was going to do this again I would probably make my own or fiberglass my own uh, shower pan that had a, a steeper fall to the sinkhole so that even if I was on a slight angle um, it would still drain away. The other thing I'm thinking of doing now to um, obviously avoid the situation where if I wanted to come in here to use um, the toilet then I'm so I don't want to be standing in a puddle of water so I think I'm going to get some of those raised rubber or wood tiles um, that allows water to flow underneath but it's raised a bit up off the floor um, to keep my feet out of the water. So there we go, that was the solution to that problem. Um, another problem solved and ticked off the list. Um, in addition to that, some really good news. Um, I have got now my electrical certification and my gas certification. Woohoo! Um, really uh, good cause to celebrate, I think. Um, that was a huge milestone and a massive weight off my shoulders that that's now been done. Um, the bus has also been passed by the engineer, so I'm just waiting for him to uh, submit the paperwork online once that's done. I can then get the bus registered and can drive it and can move places and it can be legal and I don't have to worry about it being towed away and all those sorts of things. Um, so yeah, so that's really great news. So following this video, the next couple of videos I'm going to do, I want to do one video just on the electrical installation. Um, now that it's all passed and I feel comfortable that I'm passing on legitimate information, I'll do that. And the same with the gas installation as well. So I'll do one on the electricals and one on the gas. So they will be coming up shortly. So look out for those. Um, make sure that 
you if you haven't already please like the video and subscribe if you want to see any more of these videos um, or you're planning on doing a project like this yourself or uh, are in the middle of doing it or you just want to add some constructive feedback or anything like that on uh, the way it's going so um, the other thing too I have also uh, I won't say I, w I was almost gonna say christened the bus I haven't christened the bus hang on phone call Okay, so I was almost going to say I haven't, I've christened the bus. I haven't technically christened the bus in the sense that you might think christened the bus. Um, but I have slept in the bus on my own, not with anyone else, but just on my own. So uh, if you have a look down here, I did chuck a mattress on the floor at the back there. Um, just, just a blow up mattress, it needed to be there for the engineer, he needed to see that there was sleeping facilities. So I decided to spend the night and uh, yeah, that was quite good. Um, so that's that. Um, other evidence of the fact that I've stayed in here overnight of course is the wine glass in the sink. Good times had by me. Um, Alright, so cool, so that's it for this video, I'll um, get this uploaded so you can see this and then I'll do the electrical and the gas video and get those up as soon as possible. Uh, thanks again for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for liking, or disliking, if you, disliking, disliking, thanks for disliking, thanks for disliking, thanks for watching and disliking, thanks even more for liking, and thank you for subscribing. <laughs> Cheers, see you later.